Let's talk about another guy in this Cardinals offense that uh, the stat line didn't necessarily represent how he looked on the field. Christian Kirk. I thought he looked spry as hell. I thought he was doing things that we saw and liked from him in college. He was getting a bunch of screen passes, jetting up field with those. There was a ton of that in college, except in the NFL, he's not the only good person on the team. Right. Um, he was going in motion, moving moving all over the formation, going everywhere, uh, getting getting a handoff. I thought he looked great with the ball in his hands. Yak is one of his specialties, which is you know one of my favorite attributes for anyone to have is to be able to get yak. You know, you have yak that can render your a dot useless, you know, and I don't have to <laughs> hear about that anymore. Um, and and we've mentioned it, we've referenced that he could have had a bunch more in this game. He could have had a big long catch in the first quarter, didn't come down with it. Was wide open in the end zone. Got another t- uh, end zone uh, look that he drew an uh, pens- pass interference on. Gosh, I'm fumbling through this here. Uh, so I feel like he's on the verge of busting out. This dude's bursting at the seams, but it hasn't showed up on the stat line. So there's still some buy low opportunity here, right? Well, this is this is the the game that we play in Dynasty. You you know, uh, you and Casey both said about two weeks ago that all the rookie wide receivers that came into this league this year were just you know hadn't done a whole lot, and and it was a good time to strike if that was something you were interested in doing. And sure enough, um, you know, Calvin Ridley goes and blows up two games in a row here, Ooh. and those types of things like you put your mark, your rookie wide receiver Calvin Ridley's put his mark on the on the NFL now and on your fantasy team, and now his what it takes to buy Calvin Ridley today is probably three X what it was two weeks ago. And like you say, and Christian Kirk just hasn't done it yet. You know, DJ Moore, another guy who hasn't done it yet, had a big 50 yard touchdown a couple weeks ago. It's just not cemented that dynasty value and taking a step forward with Christian Kirk out there running around. You see the juice, you see what you liked about him in college. He obviously has super strong hands. He's not afraid to go over the middle. The team scheming him all over the formation is what you wanted to see because that was one of the things we were kind of worried about is what they would chew and pi- like where would would he end up getting pigeonholed somewhere while we waited on Larry Fitzgerald to go into retirement or whatever. And there wasn't a ton of buzz on him in the off season. You know they had Chad Williams listed ahead of him in right, the depth chart. Right, and, and kind of drop some of that lull that luster that he carried from the draft absolutely and, and that's that's the thing i mean you, people you, you know you really are when you're playing dynasty fantasy football you're you play you're you know you're here to have, you're here to have a good time but you also have to understand that it is it's a week-to-week league and there's a lot of what have you done for me lately and especially with the dynasty and the younger guys that you know we see them people just get tired of them not doing a whole lot from a couple weeks and get kind of bored or all of a sudden you got a guy like Ridley who's tearing it up and now he's being winning polls on Twitter over Amari Cooper you know so it's so it's so fit you know it's just like finicky of somebody it's either all or nothing almost and so somebody like Christian Kirk you just have to pay attention and see the team using him all over the place but I also like the fact that I did I, I like the fact that Chad Williams got the touchdown I like the fact that we saw you know, the J.J. Nelson target, even though it was just a short one, just trying to spread the ball around a little bit, and there's nothing wrong. You there's nothing I, you, you love for fantasy to know exactly where the targets are going to go. You like to see that that tight distribution of targets, but it's also kind of nice sometimes when you use the other guys that you have to stretch the defense out so they can't just lock on to your player. And when Christian Kirk's moving around and taking – you know, some sc- they're set up a screen pass for him here and there. It's, it's nice to know that when it gets clicking, the target should be there. Right. And that was kind of my point when you watched Christian Kirk in college versus Alabama. They tried to do the same thing they did with him all year, which is just throw him a ton of screens. He's basically their running game, and Alabama locked that shit down. Oh, they were no, blowing him up. There was nobody else they had to worry about on the, in that offense for Texas A&M. So uh, I like where this is going for Kirk. 